Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. I am so excited for today's video, so I hope that you guys will be too. But in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a package that my friend Diana sent to me. I'm going to have Diana's Instagram linked below. If you guys don't follow her or haven't seen her page before, you are truly missing out. She has the most incredible photos on her page. And she's also just the sweetest person ever. She reached out to me and asked if I would want her to send me some of these products. And I don't know exactly like all that's in here. So I haven't even opened it yet. But it is a massive box. So I did kind of cut off the tape and cut off the top parts of the box um because they had you know my address on it but I haven't looked inside of the packaging that is all I've done I just did that and then sat down to film and I'm just so excited to try these out so I want to unbox all of this with you and then create a look on camera in this video as well so a huge thank you to Diana for sending this to me you are so sweet and I really appreciate you and I'm just so excited for this I literally feel like a kid on a Christmas so let's open it up. First of all, she packaged it so well. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is this? Oh, she wrote me a really sweet note. That is so cool. Oh, okay, I'm not going to read it just because it's like a personal note, but that was so sweet. I'm definitely going to save this and keep it at my vanity all the time. I love this. And it has a picture that she took on the front. Like, I'm serious. Look how incredible her photos are. They are incredible. And this is her um username on instagram but like i said i'm gonna have her linked it is at my dot makeup dot motif and she's just incredible that is so sweet okay i'm so excited let me put that aside so i don't get it bent okay i'm just gonna start grabbing at random and show you guys what is in there beauty bakery oh i've been wanting to try this brand okay <laughs> y'all i'm so excited right now do it for the Graham eyeshadow palette. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so this is from the Beauty uh, This is from Beauty Bakery and it is the Do It for the Graham eyeshadow palette. I am so excited to see this. Oh, I feel so excited right now. Diana, you're the sweetest, I swear. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like that. It's like a nice neutral, like fall leaning palette. That is so pretty. Ooh, those shimmers look really nice too. Very dimensional. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm excited to try that out. I love the packaging too with the little graham crackers. That's so cute. Okay, this one she told me she was sending me and I'm so excited for it. This is the Profusion Metachrome Eyeshadow Palette. When I saw this online, I was so intrigued by it. I'm typically not into like different shaped packaging of palettes, but this one for some reason just like really drew me in, especially it's probably because of this middle shade, but I think this is so pretty. Oh, I'm really excited to try this. I like all the little different embossments in the shades too so you guys can see those like the little stars i use this emoji that looks like that all the time this is really pretty Ooh, okay i'm really excited to see how that middle shade looks and the packaging is really cool it's got like a little dome on the top here i really like that so this is i think one of their newer palettes this is really pretty i'm excited to try that oh, oh my gosh you guys she loaded this box up little, okay I took out some of the like packaging things. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Diana. Okay, this is the Biggie Lash from LA Colors. Ooh, it's a tubing mascara. Okay, I'm super excited to try this out. This is the Lash Lengthening Brush. That looks really nice. I'm definitely gonna try this today. That looks really good. Dude, is this the one she told me about? Ooh, I'm really excited to try this out. Diana and I both really like tubing mascaras, and so if this is one that she likes, I'm super excited to try it out. Ooh, duochrome gel liner sets from Profusion. These look super cool. So there's three different eyeliners in the pack. Ooh, okay, I really wanna know what these look like. Those are cool. I'm definitely gonna have to try and use one of these today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I really like the packaging on this. Profusion, I feel like, has really stepped it up with their stuff. So they have three shades. This one's called NFT. The blue one is cyber. And then the like chartreuse yellowy green one is crypto. It's really pretty. So it goes to more of like a bronzy color and then like a bright yellow. When the light hits it, that's really pretty. So that one's called crypto. Let's do the blue one next. Called cyber. These are really nice. I really like the packaging. It's a retractable one, so you don't have to sharpen it. Ooh. That's really nice too. It's like a blue to purple shift. It's got like a, 
um, brown undertone, I feel like, under the purple. Okay, and then NFT. Okay, so this one's similar to the first one, but it's more bronzy yellow. So it's got like almost like an orangey shift to it instead, but they're both in that yellow gold family. These are really cool. Okay, I'm definitely gonna try one of these today. I feel like those are gonna be really awesome on the lower lash line. Okay, where do I go next? There's so much stuff. Okay, she packaged these like perfectly too. Like I know, Diana, you were messaging me saying that you hope nothing broke. I don't think anything did. It's like perfectly packaged. Okay, next up, these are Duochromatica Multichrome Shifting Pigment and Primer from Profusion. These look cool. I'm like into the multi-chromes lately. I just love seeing them on people's Instagram posts and everything. So I've been really intrigued to try some out. I don't really have anything like that in my collection right now. And I love that these are from Profusion too, because if they're able to create these awesome products, they have really affordable prices for everything. So that's awesome. Oh, it's a black pigment primer. That'll be cool to try out because I've got some primers that are like my skin color or are white. So that'll be cool to have a black one in my collection. Okay, so there's two shades of this. This one is called Portal. It's like a purpley shade. Oh, that's cool. So they're just loose pigments in there. This one is like a purpley sort of shift. And then this one is called Virtual Reality, which looks like an orange shift, maybe with a little bit of green in it and gold. Oh, it even has like purple. That's really pretty. I like that one. These are fun. I'm excited for this. Okay, so this one has like gemstones in it. This is called the Glitter Glitch from Profusion. It's the Glitter Brow Gel and Hollow Gems Duo. So you can put it in your brows. I feel like you could use this like all over the face though if you didn't want to put it in the brows. That's cool. Packaging of this is awesome. It has like both of the products in one packaging. So it has like a little brow gel spoolie and then the gemstones on the other side. You guys know I really like gemstones on my makeup looks. So I think this is gonna be really cool. I'm actually super excited to try this out. And I wonder too, if you could use this spoolie like on the lower lashes for just a cool effect, how that would turn out. I don't know if it's, I have to see if it's eye safe, but that would be really cool. That's cool. I feel like you could make a really fun multi-chrome look with all of these products together. I think they're all from the same collection, so that would make sense. Ooh, this is the Drama Bomb Mascara from Oma. I've heard really good things about this one. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to open this one yet. I really want to try the tubing mascara today, but I'm going to put this in my backups so that I'll have it to try out once I've finished up a couple that I already have open. But I definitely want to try out the LA Colors one. I need to look back cuz I feel like Diana was telling me about this one. She's telling, she's always told me about really good tubing mascaras because she has tried a lot of them. So I'm really pumped for that one. Okay, this is an eyeliner from KVD. This is the Tattoo Pencil Liner. It's in the shade Trooper Black. Ooh, that, I bet they have really good eyeliners. I've heard good things about KVD's liners. Ooh, that just looks like super creamy. Wow, yeah. So that's the pencil liner. That looks really nice. I like the packaging of this too. It's very sleek. Oh, I'm so excited. And it's a retractable liner, which is just super nice. I find those to be so easy to use. This is another eyeshadow palette from Profusion. This is their Free Spirit palette. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. This literally just looks like spring in a palette. Let me open it. Okay, so here's what the inside looks like. I actually really like how they did this because it has 25 colors but the palette itself is not overwhelmingly large because the pans are smaller but it's so difficult to hit pan in an eyeshadow if it's not like a neutral color for me so I feel like this is the perfect way to have a larger palette with more options because by using the smaller pans they're able to fit the 25 colors in there and these look so pretty and I love the little butterfly embossments Ooh, okay, now I don't know how I'm gonna pick which palette to use. These are so fun. I really like that one though, and it reminds me of spring. So that might be the one I use today. I really like that. Maybe I'll dip into a couple of them. Okay, so these are blushes from Profusion and they're from that same uh, butterfly type collection. These are called the Soft Cloud Blushes. This one's in the shade Painted Lady, and it says it's Social Butterfly, so I don't know if that's what the, yeah, I think the blushes are called Social Butterfly. Ooh, these are so cute. So they're like um, inverted almost, so like this one has mostly orange and then a little bit of pink, and then this one has mostly pink with a little bit of orange in it. Oh, these are cool. Okay, so these are Ethereal Butterfly Lip Products. They're Soft Matte Lip Creams 
from Profusion again from that same collection. I like the packaging of these. They have little butterflies on the top and it's gonna see through there. There's three shades. Ooh, they're like moussey. That's cool. I like that one. I've been into more like peachy makeup and I feel like a lot of my lip colors are more mauve. So I'm excited to have another peach option. I'm excited for this formula because I feel like with it being a soft matte, these colors are gonna stay really well, but they're not gonna look drying on the lips. So there's the three lip shades there. Those are really fun. This package came in the mail yesterday and so I've just been dying to open it ever since it came in. Oh, okay, cool. So there's two more of the multi-chrome pigment and primer. So these ones are more like bluish. There's a blue and a green in here. So it comes with another black eyeshadow base and then, or pigment base, I guess. And then two of the pigments. Oh, that is so pretty. That reminds me of a mermaid. It's like green to yellow to blue. These would be really fun to do like a liquid liner with the primer and then put the pigments on top of it in like a wing. Oh, I love this one too. Okay, this one's in the shade Avatar. Yeah, that makes sense. That is so, so pretty. I don't want to spill it. But it's also, it's mostly blue, but then it shifts to green and purple, it looks like. Ooh, okay. This is one of those little duos from e.l.f. This one's in the shade Watermelon, so it's a little blush duo. Oh, I'm excited for that. Those look really pretty. So it's like a blush and highlight. I really like those. They're like super neutral and I feel like they'll go really well with my skin for an everyday sort of a look. So here's those right there, the blush and the highlight. Those are really nice. I like how just neutral they are because there's neutral shades are just the easiest ones to use. I can't, you guys, Diana really spoiled me. There is still like a whole bunch of stuff in this box. That's so nice. Okay, this is a hydrogel cream balm from She's a Doll or from Doll 10 and it's in She's a Doll. This is really, really pretty. So it's like a rosy sort of a shade. I wonder if this is for the cheeks or the lips. I wonder if you could use it on both though. I like the texture of that. It's really lightweight. That's nice. There is a buffing foundation brush in here from Profusion. This is a little set from Grande Cosmetics. This is the Grande Pal Plumping Lip Mask and then the Hydrating Lip Plumper from Grande Lips. I feel like I should try one of these now before we start the look. Okay, I'm gonna use the lip mask like at night, I think, but let's try this. So here's the before. Let's see how this works. Well, it looks really pretty, so let's just wait. I'm sure it's gonna start like the tingling feeling. I don't use a lot of plumping products. I'm interested to see how this one looks. Ooh, okay, y'all, I'm a sucker for this kind of packaging. Kiko Cosmetics, Kiko by Milani, I think, or something like that, had some glosses that looked like this in like 2018 when I first tried the brand, and I'm still obsessed with that. I have one in my makeup memory box from the brand. And Profusion has a similar packaging on these. These are so fun. So there's three glosses in this set. And this was the Dazzling Butterfly set. Okay, so these are three juicy lip tints from Profusion. This one's in the shade Pink Slippers. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to try these. I've heard so many things about these lip tints. These are nice. I like the packaging on this. Ooh, okay, so it has like a really large doe foot. I am so excited to try that out. Let me swatch it. I'm definitely gonna try one of these on at the end of the video when we look at the lip products to apply. Ooh, it smells really nice too. I like that. My lips are starting to burn a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, so this one was in the shade Pink Slippers. And then there's a coral one called Curious Coral. That's a cute name, I like that. Profusion is like really stepping it up. Like if you're on a budget or if you just want to find affordable makeup, even if you're not on a budget, they have really great products. I know I've mentioned their Harvest and Ethereal palettes a lot on my channel. I love them. I just really feel like they've stepped it up for the drugstore. This one's really nice too. This is Curious Coral. Ooh, this one smells nice like oranges or something. Like a little bit like Fruit Loops, a little bit like oranges. Yeah, these are definitely gonna be living in my purse. I can already tell you. I have to make sure over the summer to keep products in my purse that are in packaging like this versus like a chapstick because the chapsticks can melt and then like get all of your stuff. But when it's in a packaging like this where it has a doe foot and closes really well and it's already a liquid, that's not gonna happen. 
So I know those are gonna be in my purse all summer long. And then the last one's called a Blissful Berry. This one looks really pretty too. So it looks like a little bit deeper than the first one. Yeah, but they sheer out really well. So it's just gonna give like a really nice tint. So this is that one on the end. Those are so, so pretty. Okay, yeah, I'm super excited to try these. I love when lip products smell good. That is one thing. I don't like fragrance in most of my makeup products, but in lip products, I look for that. I really want it to smell nice. These are magnetic lashes from Profusion. How fun, they've got some with stars on them. Those are so cool. These are really pretty. I bet these futurist ones right here are gonna be my favorite. They're just like nice and wispy, but more on the natural side than some of the more dramatic ones. But these would be so fun for more dramatic looks. And then it comes with a mag magnetic liner. That is really cool. I don't think I'll dip into the lashes for today's look just because like I'm literally going to the grocery store later and that's it. So those are all the products in the box. That was so much more than I even expected. Thank you again, Diana. That is just so sweet. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited to try these out and everything was packaged so perfectly. Like literally nothing broke or anything. It just was packaged perfectly. But okay, I wanna jump, whoops but I wanna jump in and create a look. So I'm not gonna be able to use all the products in this look, of course, but if there's anything in particular you wanna see me use that I don't use in this video, just let me know. Um, my lips are definitely plumping up, by the way. So here's the after. You can see it like on my Cupid's bow and then on the bottom of my lip here, it's really plumping up, but I like it. And the gloss itself looks super juicy. So like, this is really nice, actually. I'm so excited for it. All of those products are staying on my hand so nicely. That's a good sign because that means they're gonna stay on the eyes. Like they're not budging at all. Look at that, look at that liner. And even these multi-chromes. And then these were the um, matte lip products. So let's start out with the eyes. I'm gonna just prime the eyelids with the About Face eyeshadow primer. And then we'll jump in with some of the new products. I'm in the mood today to do something like super light and airy. So I'm gonna go for this Free Spirit palette from Profusion. I love that this palette has a mirror too because it's a nice large mirror so you can see your whole face if you're using this to do your whole face and makeup. So I'm gonna start out with the shade Charming which is this light lavender shade. And I wanna put this in the crease. This is a really light pastel shade, so I'm anticipating it taking some building, but I really want to have just a nice light base to build on because like I said, I don't want anything too like dramatic today. I wanna to make sure to bring this up towards the brows too so that the other colors can blend in. Y'all, this plumping is really working, I feel like. It's not really burning anymore. It wasn't like super painful. I could feel the plumping like tingling effect, but it really wasn't like as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I wanna pick up a little bit of the shade Painted Lady and I wanna build this on top of the purple shade. That's like really nice and light. So I'm no I have noticed with Profusion shades, the lighter ones do take a little bit more building, but I find that to be the case in like every shadow that I have that's lighter like that, like more pastel. So I wanna go into the shade Nectar, which is this nice like peachy shade. And I just want to kind of add this into the crease as well, just to add a little bit of like a peachy warmth to it. But I'm not bringing this one up quite as high as the purple. All right, I wanna swatch some of the shimmer shades just to see how they're gonna look. I'm interested to see how this stacks up to my favorite Profusion palettes too. I've gotta to swatch this one. This one just looks so pretty. Exotic. Oh my those are really pretty okay and then i want to swatch this one called magical because this is kind of like my everyday sort of a shade yeah these are all really pretty i need to swatch on my other arm but i keep picking it up with my left hand so i'm just going to swatch them here those are really nice looking okay those are fun and then there actually is a pressed glitter here i don't tend to use too many pressed glitters i use the ones in my nabla palette because they're like sticky but there's only one in here, so you're really not like missing out on a lot of the palette if you don't use press glitters. It's just the one shade that is a press glitter called Mysterious. It's really pretty though, if you do use press glitters. I wanna add a little bit of the shade Purple Emperor. I'm hoping that this one will build up a little bit more than the lighter pastels. And I'm gonna put this on the outer portion of the crease. Okay, this one builds up a little bit more, but it is still lighter. 
So I feel like this formula is a little bit more powdery and less pigmented than the Harvest and Ethereal palettes, but like I was saying, the lighter shades in the Ethereal palette do kind of perform like this. So I would say in general, Profusion is really, really great for the drugstore, but it's their shimmer shades that really shine for me. But I do think that Harvest palette still does perform better than this one. But I think because of the nature of this palette being like more like ethereal leaning and more like whimsical, it kind of makes sense for them to not be as pigmented. And I do think there's a time and place for that. However, if you do have deeper skin, I don't know that a lot of these shades would show up very well on your eyelids. But there are several like brighter shades and more deep tone colors that you could use. But those lighter ones are really light even on my skin. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put a glitter glue on before we jump into the shimmer shades. Okay, I went ahead and put the shimmer shades on this lid. I just used two and I really like how it turned out. It's nice and light and just like ethereal looking. And I feel like once I put mascara on, it's just going to be really fun. So I used the shade Flutter on the first half of the lid and then Exotic on the outer half. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that on my other eye. These are really, really pretty. This is where there's shimmer shades the really just take over the palette for me. I feel like they just shine and look so nice on the lids. It's the same way I feel about the other palettes that I have from the brand. I'm being kind of messy with the shimmer shades and bringing them over the crease as well. All right, with a makeup wipe, I'm going to clean up the outer edge from the shimmers so it was a little messy with it. Okay, so I went ahead and put on foundation, concealer, powder, and bronzer and did my brows so we can come back and do the rest of the makeup look. And I am just so excited. So I wanted to update you. It's been like just a few minutes, like 10 minutes maybe, but all of the gloss is pretty much gone. <laughs> so it's back to normal, but it was like nice to have a little plump there for a minute. So I could definitely see myself using that for like a picture if I wanted to take like a fun makeup picture for my Instagram or something and putting that on first. It didn't tingle like a lot and it feels pretty moisturizing. So I'm thinking let's start off with the cream blush and then top it off with the e.l.f. duo. So I'm going to try it with a sponge. I'm just going to use the larger side of my beauty blender. This one is from Shop Miss A. It's the one I always use and I just want to pat this on. Ooh, that's pretty. I did powder everywhere except for on the cheeks because I didn't know if I was going to use this one or not. So I'm not putting it over powder completely, but it's probably overlapping a little bit with some. And then I did put on a powder bronzer. So it's definitely overlapping a little bit, but for the most part, it is just going on over my foundation. I like this. It's not like overly pigmented, but it's really nice when it's built up there. That's what I prefer with a blush. I don't like for it to be extremely pigmented from the get-go just because I am so fair skin it can be a little bit overwhelming for my skin that's really nice I like how simple it is too it's just nice sleek packaging but I do want to go over it with this elf duo in the shade watermelon so I'm going to use a brush since this one's a powder and pick up the blush side and I just want to top this over the cream blush I also want to bring this one over the nose This one definitely made it a little bit more of like a peachy blush look, but you can still, I feel like, see the dewiness from that cream blush underneath, which is really nice. Okay, then I want to put on the highlight. I think you could probably use this as a highlight or a blush topper. I did bring my blush up kind of high, so it's kind of acting as both for me today but I do think it's really pretty. I don't think it's too dark for my skin, which is what I was a little bit worried about with this one, but it's really nice as sort of a highlight blush topper combo. I really like that. That's fun. So I'm gonna go over my whole face with my damp sponge again, just to kind of blend everything because I did put on quite a bit of blush. So I wanna make sure to sort of blend that, but I'm liking this look. That's kind of why I wanted to do a little bit more light eyeshadow too, just like in the mood for that, I don't know. So with the eyeshadow palette, I want to pick up a shade and put it on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to go for Purple Emperor. And I want to just pinch the brush and run this on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to add that gel multi-chrome eyeliner. I am so excited to try that. That purple looks really nice on the lower lash line. I will say in person, my shadow is a little bit deeper than it is on camera. I'll try and turn the brightness down at the end of the video and show you guys how it looks a little bit more true to color. Unfortunately, the lights just kind of wash out the shades a little bit. It is still a light 
kind of airy sort of a look, but it's definitely more pigmented in person. I'm also bringing the shadow out a little bit on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more of that purple shade on this outer corner to kind of blend it in with those shimmers. Yeah, I really like that. I'm trying to turn the brightness down a little bit. Maybe you guys can see. Yeah, that's more so like how it looks in person. So you can feel, I feel like you can just see the dimension of it a little bit more and you can see the cheek color here, but I'd like to turn the brightness up so that you guys can actually like see a little bit clearer. Okay, so I wanna use that duochrome gel liner from Profusion in the shade Cyber. It's the blue one. And I wanna put this on the lower lash line. I'm also gonna put this in the waterline. Okay, so here is that. I feel like it applies a little bit better to the actual under eye versus the waterline, but I feel like that's more so how I would use it anyways. It's just really fun, like a little extra something to go with the look. And I like this one paired with those purple shades. I actually wanna try and use this Glitter Glitch product. So I can't tell if it's eye safe or not. I think this is more so supposed to be an applicator. So I don't think you're really supposed to put it on your eyelashes, but I wanna try to put this on the like brow bone area. My brows are kind of a mess right now. So kind of using the stragglers for this. And then this whole cap actually comes off and then this part's open. I was trying to figure out how to open the gemstones. So I'm just gonna use a pair of tweezers to grab some of those out. These are really pretty. And then I wanna try and apply this to the brow bone. Okay, I don't know if I would use these in the brow, but I can really see myself using the actual gemstones with my normal lash glue and putting them closer to the lash line. But I really like how pretty the actual gemstones themselves are because they have like multiple colors in them. I guess they're kind of like holographic. And I think that they'd be really pretty, especially like I like to use them on the outer and inner corners of the eyes. Okay, they actually do stick really well too. Those are fun, I like those. Okay, I'm glad that I was able to use those today. Next up is the mascara. This is probably what I'm honestly like the most excited for right now, just because I'm excited to try a new tubing mascara. I really like the packaging of this. So the brush is like a natural bristle brush. Let's try it out. I love this. This is nice. Okay, here's the before and after of the mascara. This is so nice. Okay, this mascara is so good. This is literally the first time I've ever used it, just opened it, and I feel like it performed like most mascaras do after having them open for like two or three weeks. And I like this one more than most that I've tried anytime recently. I've been feeling like really let down by the mascaras I've tried recently, but this one is nice. This is the Biggie Lash by LA Colors again, but I did build it up a couple of layers and I really like this. I'm so excited to see if this one smudges or flakes on my lashes because if it doesn't, this is definitely gonna be a new favorite. I can already tell because I just really love tubing mascaras. So I did go ahead and add an inner corner highlight to one eye. I went for that middle shade from the other Profusion palette. And I just really felt like this would be a nice um, inner corner highlight. So this is the Metachrome palette that I showed you earlier. And I just think this makes a really really pretty inner corner highlight with this look just sort of like fun and multi-chrome these are good palettes i actually really like these especially the shimmer shades on the profusion palettes but i love this i kind of feel like maybe let me pull this shade up into the inner crease of the eye this one applies really nicely with a brush too which is always really great Ooh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that like took the look to the next level. I love this. Okay, it almost literally feels like Christmas right now. Okay, I think next up is going to be lip colors. I feel like I've got to try on this purple gloss. All right, let's try these glosses. So first up, let's try the shade Rare. This is the clear gloss with a bunch of shimmer. I feel like this is gonna be pretty as a topper for something else. I don't know that I'd wear it on its own. The doe foot's really flimsy. I gotta be careful with that, but it's nice. That's really pretty. I feel like that's gonna be such a pretty topper shade. Mm, I like that. That's nice. 
I don't like glosses that are overly pigmented. So something like this is a lot of fun to put on top of a pigmented lip color. Next up, let's do the shade Wild. This is the one I was the most excited for. It's the peachy color. This one smells really good too. Okay, this one's more subtle. So I feel like it's a nice like everyday sort of a gloss. Um, the Doe Flip is really, really flimsy though. So you definitely wanna be careful with that. I feel like, especially when you're putting it back into the packaging, you just need to be a little bit more careful, but it's really pretty. Then I think let's try the purple one. I think I will use this one today. I might add a lipstick underneath it. Purple one's called Evolve. That's actually beautiful. I was expecting it to be much more pigmented just because it looks like it in the tube, but it just is like a nice tint. And so it's not like, oh, she's got a purple gloss on. And I feel like this with a lip liner that's more cool toned or even on top of another cool tone lipstick is really, really pretty. I actually really like that one. All right, I'm gonna line the lips with this NYX lip liner that I have in the shade Nude Beige. And then I wanna put on a little bit of this shade from Juvia's Place. It's in the shade Muted, and it's just a nice kind of cool tone nude option. My lip lines are not looking that great because of all the swatches, but I think we can just ignore that a little bit. I wanna put the Berry Lip Tint on over this. Let's see how that looks. It looks a little bit more brown. Okay, I blotted the lips off back to pretty much what they would usually be like. I wanna put on a little bit of this purple gloss again. This one's in the shade Evolve. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I like this one a lot. Okay, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So here's the finished look with some of the products that Diana sent to me. I'm really excited with how it turned out and I'm also looking forward to trying these other products that I didn't get the chance to today. I'm really excited with how this turned out though and I'm actually pumped about the brow gemstone thing because I never really put the gemstones on the brows but I really like how it turned out and the actual glue itself wasn't overly metallic on the brows. I think that was what was kind of like holding me back, but I feel like it just really worked like a glue and it's not like overwhelmingly glittery in the brows. So I'm really pumped for that. If you guys wanna see me use these pigments in a video, let me know if there's any particular colors you want me to see or any of the other products, because I really do wanna try and create a look with a liner sort of a look with these pigments. I'm really pumped for that because these just look super nice to me and I can't believe that they're from such an affordable brand, which is just awesome. So again, I wanna say another thank you to Diana. Thank you so much for sending these to me. You are so sweet. I cannot believe that you took the time to do this and you're so generous to send them my way. I really do appreciate it. I'm so glad that we're friends and I just am so excited for all of these. So again, if you guys have not checked out Diana's page on Instagram, be sure to check the link down below. She will be first thing in my description box. I really, really highly suggest you guys check her page out. Her pictures are phenomenal. They are featured on a ton of brands sites themselves for their campaigns and things because they're just that amazing that the brands want to put her pictures on their pages, which I think is just incredible. And I think with one glance at her page, you can see why. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And a special thank you again to Diana for helping me to create this video because obviously this would not have happened without the sweet box that you sent me. And thank you again for the nice letter that you put in the box. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.